Hey guys, it's Dustin the Pro Picker here. I'm gonna share with you an amazing thrift store trip. And before that, I'm gonna share with you a ton of thrift store finds, mainly from the last few weeks. So let's get into it. I've got a lot of ground to cover in this video. We make some pretty incredible finds and I'm just really excited to share them with you today. So over here, this is kind of like your kitchen appliance electronics section here, basically anything that plugs in. And on the top shelf, there was this box and it was just stuffed with Milwaukee tools. And if you know anything about tools, Milwaukee's a really solid brand. The entire box was marked at $49.99. There were only two batteries included in the box, but this multi-bay charger is awesome. There were three individual regular chargers for the 18 volt batteries. And I do end up plugging in one of the chargers, testing one of the batteries, and then like plugging it into the drill. And it, the drill did work. There were a couple of those work lights there. Not a ton of value on those. I'll probably lock both of them together. But yeah, overall, we're going to do pretty good with that pickup. And then on this cart here, we ended up with a bunch of stamping ups. I don't buy every single one that you see here. I do go through them. So the comps that I'm putting on the screen are the ones that I actually end up purchasing. You really have to go through these. Some of these could be worth four or five bucks. Some can be worth like 60 or 70. We didn't have a 60 or 70 ones today, I don't think, but we had some pretty decent value ones. So I'm really happy with the pickup. This trip's actually the oldest, I guess, longest while ago footage I'll be sharing with you today. This was actually at a half off day, but they put out these shoes and they priced them at what they would normally mark them up at. Like those were marked at $24.99, but I got them at $12.50. These were $20. I think I paid $10 and so on. I end up paying, I think, $50 something for everything. I don't grab these with the Vibram soles. I forget what the brand was on these shoes, actually. It's been a little bit of time since I last looked at them, but yeah, I do end up passing on those. But we end up with like three different pairs of Timberlands. So that's pretty cool. I think. They'll sell pretty well. It was hard to find exact comps on these, so I don't know. Just bear with me. I don't end up buying those glass ornaments that I'm showing you there. Overall, though, I'm pretty happy. I don't know exactly what I'll get for this pair, but I think I'll do really well on them, so I'm happy with those at $12.50. The sell-through on these isn't amazing, so I don't know how long I'll have them but I'm $10 into those Air Force Ones. At another store here, guys. So here we are. Uh, there are some other people uh, looking at the carts and whatever. So we're trying to like be over away from a, a bit here. But we ended up with three different DS games. The Sims 2, Sims 2 Castaway are both pretty good. And I think we ended up with the Harry Potter. I don't exactly remember if I brought that home or not. Yeah, I think I did actually buy that. And then we do buy these Bath and Body Works here. And these could be okay. We ended up lotting up the two champagne ones and then the Georgia Peach listing that individually. And we do pick up the Lincoln Logs. They were only like $7.99, so we went ahead and went for it. We'll, pro we'll definitely lot those up. That's not something I'm going to piece out. And yeah, poor Luigi and Mario had a little bit too much wear on them, so I ended up leaving them behind. But $2.99, not a bad price. If I needed them for my shelf or something behind me, I could have seen picking them up for that price, but I didn't really need them. But yeah, as I mentioned, we do pick up the big lot of Lincoln Logs. There's a ton of them in there, so we're definitely going to get our value for them. And I also did pick up this Pokemon plush here, and we have it listed for 60 which is based off sold comps. To the next store we go and this is a ninja coffee pot here but it didn't have like a carafe or, or a lot of different pieces in it so i decided to go ahead and pass on it because i do like buying those units to part out but there wasn't as much to part out in that one i don't know if that one actually even comes with a carafe normally i do end up finding the plug for this atari flashback on the shelf but it didn't power on for me this is really cool. It's a Halo 5 Guardians 
Xbox One controller, but it's missing the normal battery back because it has one of those rechargeable power array deals in it. So I might get penalized a little bit for that when I go to sell it. Here I found a pair of Miss Me jeans. Still a pretty solid brand to look out for. Not as expensive as it used to be. And it does take a little bit of time to sell, but for five bucks, I'm going to pick up those Angel Wing jeans. Instax uh, Polaroid kind of deal here. And I do go ahead and pick that up. We actually just got that listed yesterday. There's three different paper pumpkins by stamping up here for $2.99 a piece. I only end up buying two of them. They are both brand new, but just unused. Here we have the whole tones to go speaker. I'm gonna grab that. I've never heard of it before, but I did give it a quick scan. The 50 shades there, the trilogy is not worth picking up. So I did leave that behind. We've got this DS25 cable had some weird comps on it. I don't know. I think I did end up buying it though. Back at the other store again here. I do get this Breath of the Wild strategy guide and it should be worth about 35 to 40 bucks. So not terrible. I think I paid 2 dollars the flat rate book price at that store. And I just thought this was kind of neat. I didn't buy it, but it's like the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders there. And it's kind of almost like one of those things that you would win at the fair or something. This is cool. Cat versus Pickles here. I can't believe how much these go for. That one did have the tag. We will get less than that on ours. And here's some Pokemon cards. I kind of look through to see if there's any like older ones because that's about the only thing I know to do is to look out for older ones and shiny ones, right? And yeah, there didn't seem to be much in that bag of Pokemon cards. And then as I was checking out, I asked Jessica to go to the back because I heard like a new cart come out or something and it was a shoe cart. So I got these James Harden Adidas shoes here and we paid like 10 bucks for those. I found these boots here. This is a brand I wasn't really familiar with and I, I just had never really ran into it or anything. Should be putting a comp on the screen for you guys there, hopefully. And then I do pick up this other pair of James Harden. These are a different colorway, the comp I put up on the screen. Yeah, it's Bionica, and the boots I put on the screen are new, but these are in really good shape. We should get something close to it. I don't end up picking up that Kodak stuff. I'm pretty sure that's all stuff I put back. They had the whole set of this Foils War here, and there just didn't seem to be much value in it. But I do pick up this Cool Picks S3300 here. And it should be worth around the $50 range. I think I paid like $12.99. I do also pick up this Amazon Kindle for four bucks. I don't know, even for parts, we should be okay on it. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger. This was a really thick Craftsman hoodie. I do end up grabbing that. I had a, a buddy here and he went ahead, let me have that Bingles pullover deal there. So thank you. Do appreciate that. And we have the Halo 4 limited edition, collector's edition here. And I don't remember, I think I actually end up putting this back. I think they had like $7.99 on it or something, if I remember correctly. But like a lot of the special things were already open and stuff. So I think I did leave that behind, even though it's super cool. Halo 4 was not my favorite of the games, but while putting that back or putting something back, I started seeing these different Scrubs sets, and I've actually sold the complete series before. Well, lo and behold, while looking through all the different DVDs, I did find the whole series. So I paid $2.99 a piece on these times nine, and we should be able to get around the $100 mark shipped for it, which is awesome. So if you ever see that entire set like at a yard sale, which is where I found it the last time, you do want to pick that up if you can get it at a reasonable price. This is a brand new sealed toner cartridge here. I ended up getting this for $7.99. And should be able to get about $70 for it shipped. I didn't pick up this wrestling belt, but there is some money in some of them for sure. Does anybody else remember these royal like personal organizers or whatever? It's just kind of funny how far technology's come just in like my lifetime. We got the guest watch here, but the sell through wasn't really that solid. So I did end up leaving it behind. 
I didn't pick up this Magnavox camera, but it is pretty cool looking. I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head here while editing which of the stuff I kept in my cart and which I ended up putting back, but I do buy a fair amount of this, I know that. I do end up putting the Pokeball back. There's just not enough value there, unfortunately. The Duluth trading, I know I get that. There's another Duluth trading here. So at this store, there was this rock and roll hard rock thing. I believe I end up putting that back, but I do pick up this Radio Shack shortwave radio here. It's a DX375. Shortwave radios can be pretty decent money. This DVD set has the theatrical, non-special edition version. I've been looking for this forever. I bet you have. Speaking of buys for me, this Carhartt shirt was only $2.99, so if you see me wearing it, you know I only paid like three bucks. So guys, Jess is actually checking this block. I picked it up and I think we paid like $7.99 or something for it, and it's definitely going to be a solid buy. I just want her to double check it real quick. Yeah, actually is $9.99 is what we paid for it. I think I'm reading that correct there. I'm just looking at the footage as I talk. I think a uh, pretty solid pickup. It's one of those things I know that's eventually gonna sell. It looks like it was new in there, so we're definitely going to pick it up. I do get the Godzilla Tail Strike figurine there, and I think we ended up putting back that sealed Gone with the Wind, if I remember correctly. So we looked all over the store here. This is actually after an estate sale. And it was kind of an interesting place to find this. That Con Air was hidden behind, I guess, those sheets and everything. It was priced at $14.99. I've sold this bath mat several times in the past, in new condition even. And we're probably looking at $80 shipped. So there's enough room for profit even with having to, I guess, cover shipping. And I ended up finding that Christmas Rock and Roll. Here we have this Thomas and Friends Bachman train set. I'm not going to get 150 for it. I don't think this is complete and it's not new, but pre-owned this Herald Heliport is complete and with box and it's only like $5.99 or whatever. So it's a great deal and it's actually just a really desirable piece, I guess. So I'm really happy to have found that. Back at another store here, I did pick up those Skechers that you see. This is a Wolfgang Puck pressure cooker here in really good condition. The red one seems to be a little bit more desirable than some of the other colors, so that's working in our favor. And I want to say I paid, well, I can read the top there. I think it's $14.99 for it. So there'll be enough room for profit there. As mentioned, I do pick up the delights. Just found this Minecraft carrying case here, so it's priced reasonably, so I guess why not? And then she found this really cool uh, Swarf I'm not even going to do it. And yeah, I, I always mispronounce certain words and I don't know. I'm feeling sensitive today. So I got water for there that she had found it uh, on the shelf. She saw this uh, Back to the Future DeLorean, which is incredible. What a great pickup, Jess. Got to love that tennis racket as well. Here I am, I'm picking up some brand new Levi's. We have them listed based off sold comps. This is an Nvidia Shield ornament, which is really cool. I think we can get a little bit more for that since uh, we'll be the only ones to have one listed. This entire bag, that plastic bag behind you, was filled with these owls. They're Franklin Mint Magnificent World of Owls for $3.99. We're just gonna lot them all together and see what we can get for them. I pass on that printer to Jessica's Relief. This is a cool Las Vegas ornament. I ended up leaving it behind though. 
Here we go with a Stranger Things car here, brand new. Should be a pretty good buy. And then I ended up getting this giant tub and it was just filled for like 40 bucks, I think. And it's filled with Bionicles. You can see there's a bonus Pokemon card. So let's, we're gonna find out what's in there in a second too. Card wise that is. But yeah, there's a lot of complete figures, pieces. It's a ton of Bionicle for the money. I think we'll do rather well on them. I've done pretty well in the past with the Bionicle stuff that I've picked up before. So I'm kind of buying that uh, based off of experience and not like looking stuff up. Unfortunately, the card was just Professor Oak. So back in the box that goes. The Super Mario Switch Lite case. The only person I know like that actually has and uses like their Switch Lite probably already has a case. So I did leave that behind. But this is like just picker parting out gold right here. $7.99 on this new wave oven. So I do go ahead and grab that at that price. I'm being really conservative on how much I'm willing to spend on new waves nowadays though. I used to go up to about 20 on the new wave pros. I think probably like 12 to 15 is the most I would ever pay for one out in the wild now. And even then I'd have to consider it. So the 7.99 is actually a pretty good sweet spot for me on it. And it's just, they seem to take a while to sell, take up space, all of that. I do pick up these TV ears. They were missing the little pads on them, but you can sell them for parts. So even if they don't work or whatever, I think we'll do okay on them. And then a new cart came out uh, filled with clothes and it had a ton of Carhartt stuff here, guys. Pretty wild how much Carhartt stuff was here. And the cart's starting to get really full. The Bionicles fan's taking up quite a bit of space. Uh, these pants I end up putting back. You'll see that in a second. But yeah, there's just so much Carhartt, it just keeps coming. And Jess wanted to grab this shirt and I think she grabbed another shirt. Yeah, she did. And those are for her. I made the joke because it was for the 1981 tour that she was even alive then. <laughs> We've got the Carhartt, uh, whatchamacallit's there, thermal bottoms, but we do put the thermal bottoms back. We did grab that hoodie though. I would have kept it if it was a 2X, I don't know. Uh, I kind of like my hoodies baggy, so we ended up listing that. Here's a Charizard wallet, some Honest Shampoo, which uh, I'll show you that in a sec. We do grab the Charizard wallet. They had all of these trail cameras and they were just worth a little too, a little less than I wanted to deal with. But they did for 99 cents have these DualShock 3. Well, one of them's a DualShock 3, one of them's just a six axis. Sony PS3 controller. There is a difference. They have ones that don't have the rumble feature and those just say six axis on it. But for 99 cents a piece, I think we'll either sell them out individually or just keep them and pair them up with systems that need controllers. The Honest Shampoo is surprisingly valuable. So 30 bucks for that shipped. So that's pretty cool. We can pick that up. And this is incredible, guys. I already saw it as I was grabbing it, so super stoked. I, I just can't believe that I found this out in the wild. It is one of the most valuable, I think it's probably like the 10th most valuable, just like regular game on the PS2. So this is Dragon Ball Z Tenchi, uh, Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Even the greatest hits version goes for some pretty crazy money. And then here's the first one, not worth nearly as much, but still a good game in its own right. Just, I, I, I kind of shook a little when I saw it because it's just like kind of like one of those be on the lookout for that you never expect to actually find out in the wild. And I think this is probably the single most valuable video game I've ever picked up at a thrift store. I can't think of any other. I've owned some other titles that I've purchased for resale, like Klonoa and stuff, but those were from like private picks and collectors, but just incredible. And then here is a Salad Master, which is only the second time I found this. This trip is just insane. I can't believe it. 
what, what great pickups. I just, this does not happen to me. So I don't do a lot of like reaction shots after thrifting or whatever, but this is pretty wild. $3.99 for this guy. I already popped up the comp and talked about it, but it's just insane. This just doesn't happen at thrift stores, even for me. And you guys have seen, I've had some pretty crazy finds. This is one of the probably most valuable single games I've ever picked up at a thrift store. But to top it all off, like I found Salad Master. We ended up with, what else did we get? We got Bionicle. so much. A new wave oven. All kinds of stuff. It was like literally picker bolo. I have not had a thrift store trip like this all uh, winter. So pretty crazy. Real quick here on price charting. So you can see like this one sold for 101. It was an auction comp. Then you've got like the 250. You've got a lot of 150s in here. So this is going to include all your auction comps for the greatest hits version and might be a more realistic complete price. The comp that I put up on the screen for you was the most recent buy it now though. Who's to say? I will note that on rarer and less common games and more expensive games, they always take longer for me than like your bread and butter, like your Wii Sports, Mario games, etc.